As an iBioMed student, you will have the opportunity to work with the various lab equipment housed in our very own medical imaging lab. One of those pieces of equipment is the CT scanner. In order to take part in labs, you must thoroughly understand the standard operation procedures, also known as SOP, to ensure overall success, which can be found on your course website. The equipment in this lab is fragile and extremely sensitive to mechanical shock. Therefore, please handle with care. If the equipment is used improperly or for their non-intended purposes, serious to fatal injuries may occur. In the medical imaging lab, you will have the chance to work with the optical CT scanner and phantom. When using the CT scanner, please be aware of pinch, tangle, and electric shock hazards. Optical CT scanners are only to be used in the IBEHS imaging lab and can only be used when a supervisor is present. Proper handling of this equipment is required in order to safely operate these devices. In case of any kind of injury, stop using the device and inform the lab coordinator immediately. The CT scanners in this lab are designed to use regular optical light and not x-rays as in clinical CTs. Therefore, there won't be any kind of biological effects against your body while operating this device. Now we will go over equipment safety. The device houses fluid in its center and the rest of the scanner is not waterproof. Because of this, never immerse the entire scanner underwater or get it in contact with any other fluids. Do not place or drop any kind of electronics in the fluid container part of the scanner at any given time. When lifting or moving the scanner, only hold onto the handles. When handling the scanner, always be in good posture to ensure that there is no bodily harm to the user, anyone around, or damage to the scanner itself. Do not drop the scanner on the floor or bump against hard surfaces, as this could cause serious damage to the scanner. Before operating the scanner, make sure that everything is in working condition. If the scanner looks or sounds faulty, do not operate it and inform the lab coordinator immediately. Always place the cables and other electrical cords of the scanner in their designated slots. When changing phantoms, do not overextend the cables connected. Now we will be going over cleaning safety. It is expected that you clean the scanner and its accessories before and after use. Always unplug the accessories from the power or remove the cables from the scanner before cleaning. Only use water or detergent provided to clean the scanner and its accessories. If you follow these instructions throughout your time in the imaging lab when using the CT scanner, you will have a safe and enjoyable learning experience. If you have any questions, always ask the lab technician. As always, the iBiomed team wishes you best of luck using the CT scanner in the imaging lab.